School district is fighting a deficit of a million dollars. The district says it's all because of a decline in student enrollment. Local 5's Rafael Lopez is in the newsroom tonight and explains how the deficit is forcing the district to make some tough changes. It's tonight's big story. Well, for starters, the school board just approved an early retirement plan for teachers and other employees in the district. The superintendent says it's all about incentivizing retirement rather than taking more drastic measures like firing staff or cutting back on student programs. Rebecca LaCoylan knows her four kids are getting a good education in the Fort Dodge School District. At my daughter's school, there's actually teachers that sit in desks outside in the hallways so that they can tutor. So she was beyond shocked to hear that the district is advising qualified teachers and other staff to retire early. I know that there's a lot of teachers that would not want to retire early. LaCoylan says she knows of one school employee who is working hard to stay on the job. There was a principal, Mrs. Cross, that told me that she is actually going to to school and receiving more education so that she can stay within the school district. You know, when looking at our enrollment trend, we are down 140 students for this school year. The superintendent for Fort Dodge Community School says the decrease is because more people are moving out of the area. He says the district is working hard to minimize the impact for student learning, but this is about saving money. So the first thing that we are doing is offering an early retirement incentive to our staff. Uh, those members who have been with the district for 10 years uh, or more who are over 55 years old will be offered an early retirement incentive to try to reduce our expenditures. He admits the next year might be rocky for the district, but he's hopeful that with more homes being built and the construction of a new pork processing plant, enrollment will be back up. What we're hoping for is that growth to come back and then uh, we don't have the negative overall net loss of students. It is still unclear how many employees will take the early retirement incentive. However, depending on how many of them take the plan, the district could potentially recoup some of their losses. In the newsroom, Rafael Lopez, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. Rafael, thanks. This is still very early in the stages, but if no one wants to accept the early retirement plans, that's when the school says it will have to cut programs and fire teachers.